Hey guys, um, here's going to be a quick tutorial on how to manipulate shapes. So you can see all these cool things that people have created, but you're like, how did they make that out of the shapes we have? Well, there's most things that we're going to create um, are just living in basic shapes, and we just have to manipulate them, twist them, make them skinnier, make them fatter, make them taller, and make them do what we need, okay? So you can see right here, I've got this box. All I did was I just drug it out. So I'm going to delete it for you. So you can see, I'm going to drag the box out. But that's just the box. But now what I want to do is maybe I need a really long rectangle. So do you see these white little buttons here, squares? They represent different dimensions. And so let's say I want to, I'm dragging it, and now it's long. But now I need it. I'm, I want it to come down and be kind of wider. I'll drag it this way. Let's see, this one in the center, I want it to be taller. And so now we went from this regular box to like this house that's already pre-made for me. Okay, I want it to be skinnier. I'll go there. Now I'm going to bring it down, and now it's a really small little rectangle. Um, so, guys, and same thing with any other shapes. I'll bring out the cylinder. I can make it wider this way. I can make it taller. I'm just press, holding these different white square dimensions. And that's how you can manipulate shapes to make what you need, because you, don't, you probably aren't going to have everything you need in these shapes. There's only basic shapes, but you can manipulate and twist them into what you need, okay? Um, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still manipulate this one and bring him out, make him a little easier to see. Okay, so with any shape, um, this is three-dimensional. Um, it, if it was 2D, it would be lying flat on the ground, but you can see it's three dimensions. It has an X, it has a, a X, a Y, and a Z axis. So if we look down here, guys, um, and get it. Okay, so this this X, this this like side of him running left and right, that is called the x and x axis. So if you ever need, if you ever remember that, that's called the x axis when it runs left and right. Now we're going to run up and down. Um, so right here, how tall he is, that's our y axis. Um, x runs left and right, y axis runs up and down. And then where's that third one you say? Well, I'm going to turn him a little bit. And you can see how deep he goes back. That's that z axis. So I've, I've got my x axis moving left and right. I got my y axis moving up and down, how tall he is. And then my z axis is how deep he's going back. Okay. Oops, I think I told you wrong earlier. There it is. How, how far he's going back. Like how deep is that box? And so if you ever hear the x, y, and z axis, those are, those are the dimensions we're talking about in a 3D shape like we have here. Okay. Um, so it's got length, it's got width, and it's got height. Um, so that's kind of the same thing. Here's my length. Here's my width, how far he goes back. And then my height is in the middle, how tall my box is, okay? So um, that's your X, Y, Z axis, and that's how you can manip manipulate shapes to make what you need, okay?